everybody welcome back to Queenie's kitchen today we're gonna be doing some ham salad what I use in my ham salad is this ham which you can get the bigger cubes but they didn't have the bigger cubes so I just got this these ones already cut up my cheese some elbow macaroni some sweet relish and some mayonnaise. That's all the ingredients that I put in it. Um, what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and get started with cooking my macaroni noodles. And I got eggs back there on the stove cooking also that goes in it. So once everything gets done, I'll be back to show you how to put it together and season it. All right, see you guys in the next clip. I had to come back and let y'all know that if you want to put any other ingredients in yours, like celery, green peppers, onions, by all means, go ahead. Um, me, I don't need green peppers, onions, and celery. I have had it like that, and I have made it like that. But I don't do it like that no more because of heartburn problems. Sometimes the green peppers give me heartburn. Sometimes the onions give me heartburns, heartburn. So I don't put them in there like that anymore and some people don't eat onions and celery and green pepper so i try to make it so that everybody will eat it because everybody don't eat onions and everybody don't eat green peppers and celery so if you're gonna make the dish if everyone in your household eats all of that stuff and all of those ingredients in there by all means go ahead and put it in there everyone in my household doesn't eat all of those ingredients so i'm not gonna put it in there all right, so I just had to come back and tell you guys that. All right, see you in the next clip. All right, guys, so I got my macaroni noodles in a cup, which I filled it up to two and a half. Is that two and a half? Yeah, that's two and a half. I didn't put a lot of it in there because, as y'all know, macaroni goes a long way. So I don't want to make a lot of it because I don't want it to go to waste because they like to waste food right here. I'm not even going to tell no fear. They like to waste food. So... I'm just going to cook this much because y'all know elbow macaroni, it swells and it goes a long way. So we don't want a whole lot of macaroni salad, ham macaroni salad. All right, guys. That's all I had to come back and say. I'm about to put these on over here. I got my water boiling already and it's ready. So those are in there. So I'll be back once my elbow macaroni gets done. Hey, y'all. I'm back. So, I'm just going to wash my hands so I can go ahead and put together this ham salad. Whew. How y'all doing today? Hope y'all doing well. I'm doing well. All right, so I have my macaroni noodles already done. There they go. All right, so here's my eggs. I'm going to go ahead and put my eggs in there. I already have my ham. I have them cleaned off and separated. Don't add that much to. I'm going to add some pickle relish. Now, 
know it's getting hot and I know we might not be able to have a lot of cookouts because of what's going on depending on how they open up our country but this is a nice cookout dish Go ahead and add my cheese. I got my cheese, y'all. Now what I did was I brought a block of cheese and I just cut it up into the cubes. Small like that. You can buy the cubes already cut up. They real big though, so you might want to cut them a little smaller. Add some black pepper to it. Hey, honey, you can come on. I'm gonna add a little salt. Get the freshness off of it. Not a lot, because it's not a salty dish. Go ahead and add some sugar. Let me get the mustard, y'all, because y'all do put a little bit of mustard in it. Not a lot, just a little. Because you don't want a lot of mayonnaise in it because you don't want it watery. So just add it in increments. Put some in there, stir it up. See how you like the consistency of it. Because once you start stirring it, it goes in it. Like I said, you don't want it watery. But you do want to taste it and make sure that... Ooh, sweating, y'all. Make sure that it's seasoned to your taste. Then you don't want to put too much salt in it anyways because the cheese is already salty.
go. there yet but I am gonna add some more I'm gonna add some black pepper to it and then I'm gonna put some cayenne pepper to it to add a little bit more flavor to it I know y'all probably like how much pepper she gonna put in it been a minute since I made this dish y'all it has been a minute and that's it now it is seasoned to my taste and now it's just time to put it in the refrigerator and let it cool off. You can eat it with crackers. Or anything. I had some more ham left over. So what I'm going to do is just put it up. And save it. Because you can make salads with it. We don't waste nothing around here. Like I said, if you want to add onions and stuff to yours, you can add onions and stuff to you, to yours. Especially if everybody in the house eats onions. So everybody in here don't really eat onions. Put some paprika on top of it. Make it look real pretty. Yeah, I got stuff all on my acres. This is what you call a ham salad with cheese and whatever other ingredients that you want to put in it. Thank you guys for watching my video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment. And hit that notification bell. And make sure you tell a friend to tell a friend to share this video and to subscribe to this video. And to hit that post notification bell also. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers, y'all. Once I get up to a thousand subscribers, once that last person hit that bell for that 1,000 subscriber, I'll be doing a giveaway. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. See you later.